wrong plug on here for the uh, indoor grill. Let me turn it up here. So I got the vent going, but this is not a, this don't smoke. So anyway, I'm going to get started and they'll join in as they may. So we're going to do some jerk chicken today. My way, my way, my way, my way. I'll show you what I'm using, okay? We're going to use some brown and season. You can use any kind you want. You can use Gravy Master because it's all a caramelization and it's going to do the same thing, okay? So we're going to use that. And I have some Jamaican Allspice, which I have to get some more. You know how much I like to use this, right? The pimentos. I'll have some ginger. You can use uh, ground ginger or fresh ginger. Either one is good. It's going to still do the same thing, okay? I'm going to use the greens, uh, no salt herbs, okay? I'm going to use some garlic powder. I'm going to use some parsley. I'm going to also use a little bit of Chef Carmen's Caribbean jerk to go with the best jerk, which is spear tree. Remember I tell you about this here, the wet jerk? I like the wet jerk. So I'm going to use the wet and the dry, right? I have some onion powder, some black pepper. I have some ketchup and water. I'll tell you about that when the time comes. I have, um, I'm going to use a lot of fresh thyme. This here makes it, so I'm going to use stems and everything. Now I have two, I have about three videos of my jerk chicken. I do it so many different ways, but over on my YouTube channel where I host most of my videos, that's my storage spot now. There's so many different ways I make. I think I have three. And this will be the fourth one, okay? So you want to use a lot of this. If you don't have the fresh thyme, it's okay to use the ground thyme. It's okay. Just use a lot of it. I smell my grill, so I'm going to turn it down. And I have my scallions. I have my scotch bonnet that we're not going to cut, okay? And I have my minced garlic. Oh, wait a minute, and I have my smoked paprika. So let's get started, okay? 
Again, I make this recipe different every time. But let's talk about this chicken, which has been washed with lemon juice and vinegar, rinsed off very good, patted dry. So we want to put some slits in here so that seasoning can get into it. So pay close attention, okay? I'm going to put a few slits in here, some deep ones, but not with that knife, though. Let me get my favorite knife. This is one of my favorite knives to use. Okay, I'm going to turn this off until I'm ready for it. Just need to heat it up to get the dust out. Okay, so. I'm going to put some deep slits in here. Like so. Because as we do our seasons, we want to stuff that season down in here, right? So I'm going to put another one. Let's see where should I put the other one. I'm going to put another one down closer to the, the bone of the leg. Like so, you see that? So we have two. But I'm going to open this one just a little bit. But try not to let your skin come off, okay? It's very important. You need that skin. So be careful when you're making your slits, okay? So I have that, okay? And we're going to do that. I have four leg quarters, okay? So we're going to do that with each one. But go deep, okay? Go deep so when you stuff that season... It'll get all the way in there. But you need your skin, okay? You see, I got it deep enough so we can stuff it real good. And this is real important when doing this. Because you want all that good time to be down in there. And all your jerk season to be down there. It's important that you get your full flavor. Let's do it right here. Again, and it don't matter where on top that you make your slits. Just make them deep enough, okay? Okay. Give me one second. All right, last one. I'm going to make this one a little deeper. Where'd it go? Okay. I didn't make that deep enough, so you can always go back and make it as deep as you want. Let's go here. I tend to fight with that skin a little bit. All right, let's see. Okay. So now that we have that, let's put some seasoning on here, okay? Okay, so I'm going to actually start out with um mm, i'm gonna start out with my ginger you can go put the your season on the way you want but i'm gonna put the ginger on first okay and you don't want it to overpower so like if you use the fresh ginger you would dice it up like but not so much so with an overpower okay now Let's go with some onion powder. Can you see this good enough? And remember, you can go heavy on your powders. It's the salt that you don't want to go heavy. But your powders, I always tell you, you can give it the business. You can give it the business. Some garlic powder. Even though I'm going to use some fresh garlic, minced garlic, I'm still going to use this garlic powder. I'm going to take, oh, wait a minute. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. I'm going to put some black pepper on here. Some smoked paprika. And if you don't have smoke, use what you have, okay? This will help it with a pretty brown, too. A nice, nice brown texture with gummy flavor will come out of here too good flavor smoke flavor a jerk flavor a nice golden brown color right okay now we're going to do the herbs okay i'm going to use the greens no salt herbs so we're going to put that on there a little heavy because it is a no salt herb and of course, we're going to put some parsley on here. 
right? You know that. You know how much I like my parsley. Right? We're going to take and put some minced garlic on here. I'm not measuring. You guys put what you want on it, okay? If you're going to love this, I know you're going to give it the business. Okay. So, now we're going to take and put um, some Chef Carmen's the Caribbean jerk. Now, mind you, this has salt, so watch what I do. I'm going to be very careful. This has salt, so... Alright, but we want to give it the business just a little bit though, All right? We want to be able to taste this, All right? Now, the fresh thyme, use a lot of it, okay? Because this right here gives this dish here the business, some good flavor, some elevation. Look at that there, right? Use your stems, do not throw your stems away, I always tell you that. Them stems got the, the, the taste, the uh, flavor in there. Don't throw them stems away. Use every bit of your time. And I, this came out my garden, y'all. This came out of the garden. Right? And then we're gonna take these scallions and just rip them in half and throw them on there. Look at that, like so. You don't even have to cut them. Just go in there, rip them apart. Mm -hmm. Don't try to be all cute about it. Just get it done. Right? And lastly, we have our scotch bonnet that I'm not going to open up. Because this right here, I'll have you saying uchi ouchie later on. You know what I mean? Uchi ouchie You don't want uchi ouchie Right? Okay, so we have it in here. And we're going to rub it in nice. We're going to rub this in really nice. And we are going to stuff it in those slits. Look, take it to the front, to the back. See that seasoning? Take it and stick it up in there. You see that? Put that up in them slits. Get it all up in there real good. Don't be scared of it. Don't be scared. Stuff that stuff up in there. You see that? Get it up in there. You see? Like so? It's up in there. Right? And massage it some more. You see when it comes to back there? After you clean that out, make sure you clean that out. Stuff that too. From the rooter to the tutor, stuff it up. This is where your flavor inside that skin up under there. Mm-hmm. Give it the business. Put it up in there. Wherever you see that skin, go up in that, go up in that skin. Because you know what happens when you when this is done, you take a bite, you're gonna taste everything, all that love you put in there. Gonna make you want to smack somebody, do the two-step. Mm-hmm. Gotta take pride when you make that jerk chicken now. Sugarfoot, you remember when you showed me how to make jerk chicken? That's my sister, Sharon. She's a chef. You remember when you showed me how to make jerk chicken? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I just started learning, you know, how to... Add some different stuff to it. And I, it, you know, and I became decent about it. <laughs> Look at that. Hmm? Now let's do another one. We're going to do all four of these. But you see how I'm taking my time and I'm massaging it really, really good. And I'm taking that season from the bottom. And I'm stuffing it deeply in there. Again, I can't stress to you the importance of Stuff in those slits with your thyme, your scallions, your garlic, and all that good seasoning. Up in that cavity. Don't forget that cavity either. Go up under the skin. Mm-hmm. They don't call it jerk for nothing. 
Right? Get all up under them, the skin as much as you can. You see all up in there? Get in there. Massage it really good. Make sure that your scallion stay down in there. That's why you have to make a big enough slit, a deep enough slit, so your seasons can stay in there. Yeah, it's gonna be some good ear jerk chicken. Yep. Let's do some more. We got two more. One more after this one. Right? Don't forget, it's important that you stuff that part right there because. From here, you know all your flavors right up in that marrow right there. Uh-huh. So make sure you get up in there. All the nooks and the crannies. Get every bit of it. Stuff that stuff down in there. Mmm. I'm telling you, if you do this the way I'm showing you, the crowd will go wild. Trust me. Do it the way I'm showing you. And it will not be dry. This is not going to be dry. I'm going to do this on the indoor grill instead of the oven. And it will not be dry. It's going to be just what it's supposed to do. Make you want to go smack somebody or shout a little bit. See that? All up in here. Wherever you can slide up in there. Put that season up in there. Put that scallion in there. That thyme. Put all that up under that skin and get it in there. Okay, we got our last one. Rub it real good. And this is open good enough. I can really put that season up in there, you see? Spare nothing. Get it in there. All that good flavor. I can't stress it enough. I'm going to tell you, and make sure that it stays in there, that it don't come out the other side, okay? I'm doing that cavity now. I'm going in the skin, the back. I'm putting scallions all the way down in there as much as I can get in there. As much as you can get in there. That's what you want to do. And this is the time, if you need more seasoning, this is the time you want to do it, okay? I'm going to put some more up in here. I got some more scallions. Stuff it really, really good, y'all. Don't be scared of it. Okay. And again, make sure it does not come out. Okay, so now that we did that, let's go with some browning sauce. Now, you can use as much or as little as you want. How dark do you want it? Let's put these pimentos in. Now, I'm going to take and put two pimentos in each slit. Because that way I'm guaranteed to get a robust of flavor. So, I'm just going to take and put two in there. Mm-hmm. And just let the rest of it pour. Ready? Let's do our browning. I want mine to come out kind of on the dark side. So, And you only get one shot to use your brown. And remember that because once it's on there, if you try to put it on there once it starts cooking, it's not the same. It's not the same. You do this part of the rubbing it in. If you try to do this, if you say, think, oh, I want it darker while it's cooking, it's not going to be the same. So this is the only time you get to do this. Just so you know, I don't know, some just made me want to tell y'all that. Trial and error showed me that. This is the only time you get to do this part. I'm running out, but this is all I really need. I have some more. But it's very important that you know, this is the only time you get to use your browning. Because once this start cooking, you see, you, you're not going to get the same effect. So make sure you put enough on. If it's not dark enough, make it happen right about now. This is the part of that tutorial where you can put as much brown in or as less. But I want mine kind of dark, so. And then we still have that scotch bonnet right 
Look at that. Mm. Give me a second. Like I get this stuff off the floor so I don't step in it. Okay. And this is what that looks like. So, I'm going to just take and put a little more browning, okay? I kind of want mine a little darker. Remember, this is the only time. I can't stress it enough. So, if you're not okay with the, the darkness, oh, yeah, this is how I want. This is good. This is what I want. I'm going to show you in a minute the difference. See the difference from when I first showed it to you? This is the way I want it. So you may not want yours this dark. I don't know. But, again, get it now. All right, I'm going to take these gloves off. Ooh, I got season everywhere. Now let's turn the, the grill on. I'm gonna grill on a medium high. And now, let me tell you about this. So while this is on the grill cooking, all the juices are gonna drip to that under, uh, the pan on the bottom. Do not, if you're gonna use your indoor grill, do not throw that stuff away. Scrape all that juice. And I'm going to show you what to do with it. And this is where the ketchup and the water comes. Because from the flavors you're going to get from the chicken, the seasoning, and you put this on it, elevate that gravy. Oh, my goodness. This here is a secret weapon. Your ketchup and your water mixture. So within about uh, uh, 30 minutes into it, I'm going to see all the juice drip to the bottom of that pan. I'm going to remove this chicken. I'll, you'll see me do it probably. I'm going to remove the chicken and get all that juice. And I'm going to make a little gravy. A sauce, if you will. I'm going to make a little sauce. Gravy is too strong of a word. I'm going to put some more of these in here too, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I get excited when I'm making this. Let me tell you. And I got all kinds of different sides. We're going to let that pan heat up a little more. All gone. But don't forget what I told y'all. If you want it darker, now's the time to do it. You don't get a second chance when it's cooking to put that uh, browning on here. You know? And uh, the browning does, it do have seasoning on it. So when you're using that, be mindful that it is salt on that too. You know, you got to be mindful when you're making jerk chicken of the salt. So did you see what I did? How much stuff did I have with salt? Two things, right? And then I balanced it out with the herbs. Remember I tell you? Your herbs, your powders, and then your salt. Makes sense, right? Makes sense. Mm-hmm. That's a good way to think of it, like, so you don't overdo it. It's a good way to think. Your herb, your powders, your herbs, and then your salt. Let that be your last thing that you put on when you're, you know, doing it. Oh, I smell it heating it up. And I put just enough jerk on here so it don't burn. You don't be snotting when you're eating. And you can be comfortable and still get the full effect. Instead of all that heat, could you press me neck and I'm snotting, trying to eat here, your eyes watering. It's too damn hot. Huh? It's too hot when you got to do it. You got all that action going on? It's too hot. How you enjoy it? Mm -mm. See, I want it to be good. I want to enjoy it, but I don't want to be snotting when I'm trying to eat my food and my eyes watering because it's too hot. I don't be wanting to do all that now. Okay, something is wrong here. I got a top that's missing. Alright, so anyway, as I babble on, I got the wrong top on something, but it's okay. Okay, I'm just going to move some stuff out the way here, guys. I don't think I'll be using any of this again. So we're going to let this, the grill heat up. Right? 
just move some stuff out the way. And we're going to bring the grill over. Which I have it on medium high. And you listen to Soul Town, Sirius XM. Soul Town, some real old stuff. Okay, so you can spray your, your grill, your pan if you want. Or you know, this is a non-stick. But I like to spray it. You don't have to. You really don't have to. But I want to spray it with a little canola, okay? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And we're going to take, and when I put this on, we're going to make a little sauce to go with the drippings. Hi, Alberta. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. Guys, I miss being on here, but let me get this on the grill and we'll chat it up for a few minutes, okay? All right. Let's get it on here. Look at that. Huh? Right? And you can do this in the oven. Just don't cover it up, though, okay? Don't cover it up. Move over, move over. I'm going to take that scotch bonnet. And just put it right there. We're going to sit it right there. And we're going to take the rest of that seasoning and just put it on here. Now what I do in the beginning, I usually put a top, put the top on it. Just for a little steam to go up in there to get the seasoning going. I put the top on for a few. Give me a second. I got to wash this top off. Just for a few, and then we cook it without the, uh, just like if you're doing it on the grill outside. Mm -hmm. But I want to get the crisp, you know, you want that crisp, you know. It's a certain look that lets me know I'm doing it right because it'll look dry. And that lets me know that I'm doing something right. Same as in the oven. Get that little dry look. But you're going to have all that juice. Okay, let me just get this. All right? You're going to have all that juice that's going to come at the bottom here. See that? There's a tray. And all that good juice is going to drip down in that tray. I need that. So I'm going to give it a little help. And I'm going to cover it up. <coughs> Excuse me. This way, when I cover this up, so it's gonna like steam just a little bit and it's gonna open up. So all that's gonna, all that steam gonna go up in there, hit them slits where all that season is at. Girl, I'm trying to tell you. What? You figure like the slits and all that season in there, when that steam hits up under there in the openings, what do you think gonna happen? All that steam is gonna go up like this here. And it's going to move. It's going to caramelize that season a little bit. Right? And when it's caramelized, it's like, like melting a little bit. And all the juice is going to be all up under that skin. And down in them slits. Mm, 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 mm. Right? That's the reason for that. That's the reason for it all. Yep. And again, like I said, I have some sides already. I have a lot of sides. But if you want to see some other ways to make that, I have my YouTube channel. Go over there. It's, it's the same in the kitchen with Cindy. You can go over there and you can find a lot of my recipes. I think i got about 240 or more. It could be close to 300 recipes over there, y'all. Because I was trying to grow that channel, but it takes a lot to do that YouTube thing. And I'm not consistent enough to, you know. And then they change the rules every time you turn around. They're going to change the rules. I used to be able to go live on there and they stopped it. You have to have so many viewers. Yeah, YouTube ain't no joke. YouTube make you work. But we do the best we can and I thank y'all. Because I need you. I can't do this without you. It's cleaning up my floor. So, let's go over a few things. So, if you don't have like your fresh herbs, you can use your... um. Let me turn this down. You can use your ground herbs. 
you know? <coughs> Excuse me. That is getting to me. Let me see. You can use your, uh, your ground herbs and stuff, you know. Yeah, it is a little different, but it's still doing the same thing, you know. It's not as robust as the fresh herbs, but it's still good, you know what I mean? Anything fresh in the herb is robust. The, the ground is closed in, so it's not that robust. But it, you're gonna, if you use the right amount of it, you'll never know, you know. Unless somebody be a nosy like that in your pots, but other than that, you never know. So you want to use as much time. And some of my videos with this, I use rosemary too. But the time is what really makes it. If you're making a Jamaican version, so you know how important that time is. This here is a Jamaican version. What I just did. So that time is, that fresh time is real important. And normally you would make your own, um, if you want to make your own jerk season, uh, on YouTube, I will show you how to do that. There's one, and it says the original jerk seasoning. I saw how it was done, and I tweaked it, and I did it myself. Really good. So there is um, the video on just making your own jerk season. Mm -hmm. it, come, it came out good. So, all right, I'm going to take this off now and let it just do what it needs to do. I just need it on this. So when it, you see your glass steam, it lets me know that it's steaming it through. And now we need it to grill. We need it to grill now. So this comes off. Yep. But anyway, I miss you guys. I've been missing an action. I'm back now. I am back. <coughs> I had a, a beautiful weekend in New Jersey with my family. Me and my brother celebrated our birthday, and we celebrated some family time. My my Sugarfoot, my sister Sharon, we call her Sugarfoot, she had to work, so she couldn't make it. But that would have been an even more better time if she was there, because we cut up really bad. She's right there. She's a chef. We cut up real bad, y'all. When I say real bad, we cut up. We know how to have some silly girl fun, you know? Like when we do our reunions, you know the, the cart that you put your luggage on? We ride each other on there. Hi, huh, Sharon? We know to have some fun. Oh, that's some good fun. But anyway, it was a really, really good time. I hadn't seen my brother that had the COVID. I hadn't seen him. I got to see him. I didn't want to let him go. I hugged him and just boo-hoo. I cried so much. Oh, my God. I cried so much. But it was tears of happiness. And everything was just perfect, you know? Down to go to my nephew's house to meet my new niece, you know? It, it was just all that. I posted videos. I posted videos. But it was a beautiful time. And, you know, we back home. It's always good to come back home. But this time up there, it was different. It was, we hadn't seen each other in like a, uh, over a year. And it was a wonderful, wonderful time. My brother hosted us well. And I made a video like it was my house. I act like his house was my house. Yeah, I got to watch that video. That was fun doing it. Me and my cousin Nikki, she was a photographer. <laughs> it was a good time. It was really good. So I hope you guys had a good 4th of July weekend. Okay, so let me show you what that's doing now. And one thing about this grill, but I usually put this vent on too. It lets off some smoke. This came from Amazon. I think this was... Uh, $22. 21 to 22 It went no more than that. Let me turn this fan on because I'm getting some um, smoke going down in my lung. <coughs> I haven't used this in a while. And I was getting some smoke going down in my lung. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I, t I put the ceiling fan on a little high to brawl that because that smoke was going down there. I don't need that. I'll be real careful in my lungs. I got the cancer in my lungs. Gotta be real careful with that smoke. So I moved it a little bit. But anyway, so all that season and the juice, it will drip down in that little pan down there. 
So if you ever use one of these, anytime you have your drippings, if you want to make a real good um, sauce or gravy, don't throw that away. All that fresh dripping, ain't nothing but seasoning coming out of there. Nothing but seasoning. And I'm gonna take maybe a bowl like this, and um, when, I'm gonna let this go for about a uh, half an hour. Like about 6.30, I'm going to come back and I'm going to turn this. And I'll come back on and do it live, okay? At 6.30, we'll turn it, okay? And then we'll make that that little sauce I'm going to tell you about. But it has to cook at least a half hour so all them drippings can come through. So I can see something now. I don't know if you can see it, but down in there, there's some drippings down in there already. See down there? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's going to be some kind of good. Woohoo! So I will be back at 6.30, and we'll finish this off. I'll stay on until it's done. But it, it needs to have at least 30 minutes before I can turn that over and get the drippings and make this sauce, and I'll show you the rest of it. It's a nice little sauce now. This sauce, I, I just was adding stuff, right? Remember I told you, learn how to, how to use your seasonings? Well, I learned how to make this sauce trial and error. Mm-hmm. Trial and error I did. Like I've said, what goes good with this here? You know? What seasons? What and I had some brown sugar on hand. I had some soy sauce on hand. I had some vinegar on hand. And I put it all in the bowl. And all I needed was some drippers of any kind of meat though, you know? It could have been chicken pork because this the contents I had it tastes good. You could dip any kind of meat in there, even lamb. So, what do you call that? An all-purpose sauce. Let's put it that way. So, I'll show you. Alberta, thank you for coming on. Whoever else is on here, thank you guys. I'm glad to be back. You're going to see a lot of me because I've been gone too long. It's only been a week, but it seemed like so much longer. But I've been working on some stuff as well. I've been upstairs in the penthouse working on tweaking some recipes and doing things a little different so you don't see the same thing. We want to see something different. And we may cook the same meal, but it can taste different each and every time. And that's where I come in. That's what I do. I can tweak a meal and make it taste so different. So we love chicken. We love steak. Whatever that meat is like, ah, I want something different. I want a different taste. Well, you can cook the same thing as much as you want and have it taste different. You just got to know your seasonings. And that's what I be trying to stress to you guys. Take the time when you're in your kitchen and find out what seasoning you're going to make you some dry rubs, which I have a lot of those too, right? Make you some dry rubs and just taste it. You know what goes with beef. You know what goes with pork. If you don't, that's why we do these videos to teach you guys how to do some of this, how to think outside the box too and mix, mix and match some stuff, so that's always a good thing. So I'm glad that you guys came on here. I hope you come back at 6.30, and we'll do some more. We'll make that sauce. And this should only take about really a good hour and 10 minutes, actually. I timed it before. I did time it before, and that's what it took. But that was in the oven, so on the grill, let me give it that same time, because you want that chicken not to be red. When you get to that bowl, that chicken do not need to be red, okay? And then you want to cook it where it don't dry out at the same time, okay? So meet me back here at 630, and we'll finish up, and we'll taste it. You can taste it too, up here. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Like and share it, 630. Meet me back here, okay? All right, bye-bye.